Hello, my name is Neil Arnhardt, and I would like to take a moment to address Janine Garoppolo. Janine, you're a talented person. I love the mystery men saw it a bunch of times. But you're not good at politics. You don't have the head for it. And you really ought to recognize that limitation. I'm referring specifically to the multitude of times that you have referred to conservatives and people who are opposed to the Obama agenda as racists. To use your language, it's racism, pure and simple, in your opinion. Um, that's all there is to it. Janine, if you can find examples, and I'm speaking for most conservatives when I say this, if you can find examples of where in the recent past we were liberals and all of the sudden became conservatives only once Barack Obama came on the scene then you might have a point then you would have a point there's no doubt about it but most of us who are conservative have been that way a long time we've been opposed to liberal policies for a long time we would oppose the liberal policies of Barack Obama, regardless of his race, regardless of his gender, regardless of anything, we are against the big government, big taxes, big spending you know, uh, methodology that the Obama administration is using. But recently, you were um, approached by a reporter and you were asked if you thought maybe you owed the Tea Partiers an apology as it becomes more and more obvious that they really are about fiscal responsibility and not about racism. And you replied if it was only about fiscal policy where were these protesters during the eight years of the George W. Bush administration. My answer is, we were protesting those policies, Janine. We were against George Bush's spending. Most conservatives were. Now, we weren't as vocal as we are against President Obama for several reasons. One is, there were things about Bush that we liked. Things we didn't like spending being the main one. But, you know, tax policy, we were in favor of that, tax cuts, uh, in favor of the way he kept terrorists on the defensive. You know, so we were less vocal about it. The other reason that we are more vocal about Obama's spending over Bush's is because with Obama, we find very little good to offset the bad. We don't like his spending policy, and we don't like his tax policy, and we don't like his foreign policy, uh, and we don't like the people that he's picking for the Supreme Court. Um, we don't like his attitude. He speaks to us as if he's better than other people. He speaks to the American people, in my opinion, as if we're an entire country of dummies and only him and people like him know what's best for us and just doesn't understand why we don't let him go ahead and make our decisions because he knows what's best. But that's all I'm saying, Janine, is there's a reason why the uh, protests against President Obama are more extreme than the protests that were lodged against George H.W. Bush on these same matters. You know, that's just all there is to it. To use your words, pure and simple. Thank you very much.